Okay, so the first card that came out, and I'm not doing this as a particular spread. I'm just doing these as three different cards. And of course, like I said, I'll pull clarification. The first one that came out is the Five of Wands. And it's interesting what hit me when it very first came out is I felt like it was a positive card. You know, uh, textbook, this card can mean um, arguing, fighting, differences of opinions, and not getting along, and so forth and so on. It's funny how when I pulled it, I almost felt a sense of resolve of matters. And maybe this has happened in the past. This could be in a relationship of seeing differences of opinions and suggestions and ideas. But I feel like whatever this has been, whether it's in a relationship or with your work, in your work environment, that there's a, a peaceful resolution coming along. As you can see, you know, this guy has on his cuff here, his hard metal cuff. This guy has on drape and this guy has on a blue uh, glove and so on and so forth. So it's, it's completely different. Whatever these um, proposals and differences of ideas are, are um, in contrast to each other. But I do feel like it's a resolution coming about. I also feel like this could be you, Libra, having four or five different opportunities or ways to make money or the way you want to put your message out that you're looking at. And maybe this is you um, saying, well, wait a minute, this might be interesting for me or this particular uh, modality or opportunity could be interesting or maybe you've sent resumes out or whatever the case may be but I feel like this is an opportunistic card to either resolve or uh, different ways of like I said putting your message out in the world I'm going to turn my uh, crystal on my light on to look at my crystal and see what's well yeah you're you're at a high point you're coming to a high point in the year um, I know some of you say, <clears throat> yeah, things are getting better. And I've also read comments that saying it's still crap. <laughs> and I, I know, I understand. Um, I really do I have a lot of Libra in my chart. So, um, but I do feel like this summer is going, most of you, not all of you, again, not all Libras are alike, every single one of you. You're not born at the same time. You're not born in the, on the same day. But a lot of you are going to see new opportunities come. And I feel like, by the way, the end of this month, by the end of this month, you're going to be feeling um, different. Let's just say that, different. I'm seeing like a staircase that's going like this. So a lot of you felt like it's not a straight up, <laughs> like this hasn't been an easy, smooth path. Like it's like this way, then we're this way, then we're this way, then we're this way. And this has not just been going on for this year. This has been for, um, and I know I've said this before, but some of you many years in the making. All right. So the second card that comes up is the Knight of Swords. And I feel like this is probably you. This is probably you coming out of this uh, decision making and or this resolve. And you feel like you're wanting to move forward. The Knight is about the explorer of the court cards. The Queen, of course, is the essence. She's the very analytical and, and, and she um, is a keen observer. She... she is the essence of thinking. And the king, of course, has mastered his mental thinking. But the knight is ready to move the idea forward. And if you look at the way these two cards meet, you know, this particular wand meets up with the sword that he's carrying. So it might be that you go with this idea and you bring it into action, or it just might be that um, you you feel the strength from this and you're ready to move forward. And you know what I hadn't noticed before I started the camera back, but I am now. Very interesting. Um, the third card is the tower. Okay. And I do want to say that I, you're the fourth sign that I've done the readings for the second half of June. And this has come up three times. So this has to be a universal message because that's you know only four readings and three of them have had the tower. Um, 
I'm looking at this card, and the tower usually represents limited restrictions, uh, self-imposed restrictions, whatever it is that need to fall down so that you can begin anew. A lot of readers actually like this card because after the tower falls, there's enlightenment, there's new opportunities to come. It's um, it's an, actually can be a very advantageous card. So I'm looking at this, and what I'm noticing over here, if you look in the Knight of Swords, it almost looks like the tower is in this card as well. Can, do you see that? I'm going to hold them up. So look how he's he's moving forward and the tower's over here on the side. But he's moving past that. He's not afraid of this tower. You guys are really changing. I think some of you are um, feeling more confident. Some of you are letting go of of, like I said, restrictions earlier so that you can feel your intuition. I think some of you uh, are going to feel very intuitive this particular month, the rest of this month, because I'm really noticing this water here. And I also love, it's interesting, so interesting how these cards are flowing together. So we had this and this, and then look how the handle of a sword moves into this wave here. So it's almost like whatever happens to needs to happen, you can move smoothly through this path. Interesting. Um, what's not needed is following, following rather, excuse me, not following, but could be following. Um, there's fire that's coming out, so the combustion will happen. But it doesn't necessarily need to be um, this sudden shocking like this card can interpret. I'm not interpreting these cards today like the traditional meanings. It's just not feeling like that. It's feeling like you've seen a lot of dishevel in your life and yet now you have the inner strength to move past that dishevel and actually um, succeed through the disheveled, because the part I'm noticing the most is the water, which is giving you the compassion for yourself and for others, and the way this is flowing here. All right, let's pull some clarification cards. Interesting, and uh, let's see, what was the last sign I did? Taurus had the tower in there, and so did, I believe, Capricorn. I was shuffling the cards and my dog is lying beside me and, and uh, one of them fell on his shoulder. Okay. Um, so let's see what comes up. I forgot what I was saying and I'm sorry about that, but I might remember. So let's see. All right. Okay. Interesting. Four came out. So let's go with those. Well, the nine of, of uh, swords came up. So yeah. A lot of you have stayed up at night. I feel like some of you aren't sleeping as well as you want to. For whatever reason, it may be, you know, you need a new bed, and a new mattress. It might be that your children are keeping you up at night or your dog is keeping you up at night or that your um, you know, husband is snoring. I'm coming up with a lot of different things I know, but... Um, these swords are above these tight hands, and you feel a little bit like you can't uh, grasp on to what you need to, or you haven't been able to, but the swords are moving in the direction of this Ace of Pentacles. See, I always look at, always look at the direction of, of everything and how this knight was moving into this tower, but he could, he could move past the, the dilemmas of life. So these swords are moving. The thinking is moving into the Ace of Pentacles. You guys are coming up with some um, ways of new ways of making money. Is very much what it's feeling like. And I said that here. And the swords, the Knight of Sword, wants to move into creations of of money, health, happiness. I like this Ace of Pentacles. There's the rose here. There's this white flower and the arch. So a new pathway to uh, 
make money, like I said, your financial, your bottom line, your health. Some of you are um, going to find new health, body movement. I'm hearing body movement approaches. <laughs> so whether you walk a lot or whether you dance or um, swim, for the Northern Hemisphere, this is a good time to be in the water and swim. It's it's the, one of the best exercises is swimming because you use all of your, you use your whole body, right? So I'm feeling like this is really an, this sword is acing, no pun intended, acing this pentacle. Awesome. Okay. So although this tower has felt a little bit like, okay, which road do I go down? You all go to, you know, this is the moon card. And the moon card is about using your intuition. So continue to do that. What feels best for you? I'm going to ask you some questions. Um, if you had to choose between one of two options, when you think about one option, does it make you take a deep breath? Like a... Or does it make you tense up on the inside? You know, follow your body. Follow what your body's telling you. Um, this is also the sign of cancer. So is there a water sign and or possibly a cancer sign, which would be end of... This card came up too earlier. Uh, the end of June into July. Is this person helping you in some way are they supporting you do they do they feel like um do they feel like they're intuitive of course cancers are into we're all intuitive i mean let's just face it we all are but i feel like in particular this could be a cancer person now let me know in the comments below if it is or it is if it isn't but i feel like they're helping you move into the, the path of success and if you know if this feels like okay which which side of the coin should i follow again pay attention to your third eye awareness your chakras um all of that pay attention to your body i love the last card that came up the clarification card is the ace of wands or ace of rods in this particular deck and see how both of these rod cards there's a hand coming out of the cloud. So you're angelically have a new opportunity or a new way of making money and to use your services, your work, your life force, your life force, or your passion in a different way. So this moon card may be, okay, well, which, which path is it? I, I keep getting that around these wands that you're going to have opportunity for. Um, people might approach you that want to work with you. You know, you might be getting some of that. So be prepared. <laughs> and I, I do believe that um, June 4th, which I'm doing this reading today on June 3rd. Uh, yeah, June 3rd, which tomorrow would be Sunday, June 4th, through, I believe, July. And I want to say the 20-something or other. Um, Libras are going to have some opportunities come their come your way. All right. And support behind you and people that want to follow you. And I know I feel like I've said this before, but people are starting to see that Libras are um, or have some leadership qualities and they're interested in what you're doing. They're interested in your uniqueness and not so much your force of life because you don't force things as much or, you know, you like to the balance and and all of that but um the, and that's the direction we're all moving in too as well so look at both sides of the coin and you will figure out which is the best path the path of least resistance to accomplish the goals you want to accomplish all right libra i'm going to add these cards up i almost forgot to do that I don't want to miss out on doing that we have five, and the night is one, five, six, and 16 is 22. Oh, darn it. Well, there's 21 major arcana cards, but anyway, I'll do the uh, 22. 22 is actually a master number. 
in numerology. I did do that right, right 16, 17. Um, yeah, 22. Uh, is the master number. 22s are, um, it, it's being very patient and diplomatic. That's so you guys. Um, it reminds me when I draw out a two and I'm um, doing numerology or, or, you know, giving the numbers personality like I teach classes. The number two feels like a swan on the lake. It's very um, open to peace, wants peace. So I feel like that's what you guys are wanting. The 22 life paths are the builders, the master builders of life. All right, so that's awesome. And 22 uh, adds up to four, of course, and four in the major arcana is the emperor card. And the emperor card is archetypally a person who is a father figure, an authority figure, sometimes a Capricorn. So see if this is a Capricorn in your life. Uh, but again, he represents leadership, leadership abilities, controlling his destiny, building projects. I think, I feel like this is you. I feel like the, the universe is saying, come on, come on, Libra. You know, you're ready for this. Um, you know, you may have felt like you wanted to raft down the str or line of raft <laughs> and just be in a, a nice, calm stream. And you can continue to do that is what I'm feeling like the universe is saying. But take on who you are. Um, you know, own yourself. Own your qualities of your own leadership. And that's what I was talking about earlier as I was looking into the crystals that... But that people are interested in what you have to give and the value you have to give. 